the snowball system how to win more business and turn clients into raving fans by mo bunnell we got a picture because we turned it in but hey what are you gonna do this was a freaking cool book like it was based sort of off the principles of raving fans um, which is another book i'm reading right now and we'll have a video up on here soon but it was really cool with fostering like client relationships and building long-term personal and professional relationships with consistent follow-up and turning you know prospects or leads into like quality relationships where you do business with them but at the same time you're working to have a overall great experience with them and turn them into extremely satisfied clients so that in turn you know you have more people to come more business flows in and you know one thing he talks about a lot uh, is a pinwheel theory where your business um, you can set it up get a really really good client base and then consistently follow through with them and then you just have to give it a little bit of a whoo a little bit of a wish and um, with that, you're gonna keep the pinwheel going and all you have to do is give it that little breeze every month or every day or every week. And he talks a lot about setting like very specific people goals. So looking specifically at, you know, I wanna get X many calls done today, X many follow-ups um, and use those prospect, you know, relationship building aspects is a very calculated and strategic part of my weekly business plan you know especially if the work you do is based off of interacting with people and working with clients um, it's a killer killer way to take your business to a whole nother level using what he calls the snowball system um, it's really cool I think some of the biggest takeaways from it are to care so much about your professional relationships that they just blend with personal ones so that you know I think especially in the Eastern world where a lot of business gets done outside of the office, um, you know, you've got to have that whole felt, you know, real relationship with somebody um, so that when you go and you're making, you know, huge deals together, you have a fundamental understanding of each other and can grow uh, together so that, you know, all of a sudden, right, it's not just someone you met a week ago, you know, you're doing business transactions with someone you've been talking to for months and months, maybe years, stuff like that. So it really builds over time and you're consistently adding value. That was another really, really big thing with it was finding documents or resources or giving some of your expertise and time um, you know if you, if you saw that last video on the top three things you can give to people to build relationships um, he covers that really well with like creating an asset folder and asset list where all of a sudden you know once a week maybe you'll have a very very specific asset that you want to share with somebody because you think that it can value their lives and using that as a very systematic and planned way to grow your business your prospects your leads um, into a more quality relationship so that you can have better business with them and have fun at the same time by you know really working on these relationships i think relationships and implementing relationships into business was one of the biggest things from it and you know turning that into like a system where you know now you've got a snowball system and you can just keep going um, i really like the book because it showed you know really the significance of like you know we're trying to make a really big impact in the marketplace um, and if you believe in what you do and you care about what you do um, and especially if you work on more of a one by one basis with your clients really honing in on yes you can develop this relationship strategically effectively in a very planned manner so that you have systematically better client relationships and systematically more efficient business operations because you follow set steps to continue building your relationships with individuals, clients, etc. And using those is a fundamental backbone for going into the contract room because you've already done so much work beforehand to crush the development and you know, he talks a little more about some very, very specific strategies, and I appreciated how applicable those specific strategies were, like creating a top 100 list of prospects and creating a list of clients that you should constantly be going through and saying, hey, you know, this month I didn't talk to 15 of the people on the list. Let's jam it out these last five days of the week or last five days of the month and turn, send them something valuable or follow up with them or just give them some of your time on a call so that they know, hey, you know, even if you're not getting an immediate sale from it, you're building that relationship and 
creating a better sense of community with your company and with your re client relationships so that they know, you know, after you've called them every single month for months and months, hey, you know, if I need whatever industry you're in, whatever category you do, uh, done, I can just call this guy. He's been calling me all the time. We have a good relationship. I trust him and he's the guy who can get it done. So establishing yourself as a player using strategic and relentless communications and relationship building. There were um, some good example scenes in the book. I'll be honest, I read it about two weeks, yeah, two weeks ago. Um, I don't have it on me, but I'll tell you what. One scene that really stood out to me uh, was he was talking about how seminars, like live seminars, and following up with prospects from seminars, um, or not even prospects, right, just potential partners or people where he could, you can, you know, really take your business to the next level by working with other individuals and finding those individuals in a live mastermind-like environment. Um, and one thing that he kind of pointed out was like, if you go and give someone your business card or you swap phone numbers, whatever, right? But you do that, you know, you're at the event, you're in the hype, you know, everything's like, oh, we're learning all this stuff, it's so cool. But, you know, then you take it, you just go to the office and you don't follow up with a week, for a week, or you just leave them on, you know, don't even pay attention to them for like the next week or month, etc. Um, you know, you're gonna really fade and essentially deteriorate your relationship with that person. So really focusing on, you know, he walks through exactly two scenarios where on one hand you can follow up immediately the night of and then say, hey, call the next day, let's talk about a meeting about this thing. And then a huge, huge part of it was fulfilling exactly what you promised to bring to that relationship via value. So if you say, hey, I'm gonna get this report done for you, you get it done. You don't make excuses on it. It has to happen so that you're crushing it relationship-wise and they know, hey, this is someone I can count on. This is something we can make happen. They're a good person to work with. Here's why, here's how. And we're gonna turn that into a new situation where all of a sudden, your relationship's at a whole other level just because you put that little bit of work in to build a foundation instead of just being like the rest of uh, most people where you just let it go out and die flat. Um, really being able to prioritize and focus on the relationships that matter and taking those to the next level professionally and personally. Really cool stuff. Um, some of the overall messages from the book, uh, it really kind of made me rethink, you know, the different ways you can bring value to people's lives through communication. You know, I thought it was like you just call someone and, you know, go through a 15 minute, half hour coaching call and once you do that, you know, what else are you going to do? Um, it really, this kind of opened up my eyes where it's like building an asset folder specifically is something I'd never really thought of and using that asset folder to distribute materials to your list that they'll find valuable and he has some pretty specific steps too. He's like upload it as a PDF in case it's a membership site and they can't access it or, you know, take the link but then also type it so that they have it right on their phone um, if they're looking at it on your phone and using you know non phone calls like media sources or images or mostly articles to support your position in the marketplace and further value their position in the marketplace so that overall you have a more quality interaction with them and at the same time you don't have to use as much of your time right if you're just picking out articles you know hey you know Jim he could really use this article I know it works with this field and if you really fundamentally understand somebody and their personality before that you're gonna have a great response when they say wow you know this is exactly what I'm into I really appreciate this this is a great opportunity thanks for sharing it and that's something you can't get a whole lot of time with just calling someone and saying, hey, how can I help you with this? It's like, you know, they've got time constraints too. So it's a different situation. Really cool stuff. I think the book is best for you know, agency builders or communications major or like advertising or networking. If you're essentially doing anything where you have prospects that turn into clients, that turn into relationships, that turn into friends, um, this is the system for you. And at the same time, if you're taking your business or any real venture where you're reliant on others as clients, if you're taking them as clients into, you know, a whole nother aspect where all of a sudden, your network and your business are grown exponentially so that you have more work, you have more leads, you have more streams of income, and now you can be more selective with your work. So if, if you've got clients, this is the book to crush it and really generate that snowball system so you can put it on a flywheel and not have to go 100% all the time. You can like segment it out. Really great monthly planning, weekly planning. Killer stuff. Recommend it. Link in the description. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.